Hey everyone, let's make a yo-yo in Blender. This will not be covering the animation part, which hopefully I'll cover in the future. The end result will most likely look very similar to how this one looks. Anyways, here we go. Start by adding a circle and rotating it 90 degrees. Then move it in edit mode and add a mirror modifier. Make sure to check clipping so that we can extrude it inward and it won't overlap. Now select the outer vertices, hit E for extrude and S to scale it outward. Now extrude it and move it farther and scale it up even more. Now let's add a subdivision modifier. At the moment, we won't have it being displayed so we can hit the camera button. But don't worry, we will come back to it. Now back to the prior step. Before adding the subdivision, we can do this again, but scaling it up less than before, and now extrude it just along the x-axis, but this time without scaling. Now you can enter front view and hit shift Z for quick wireframe view and select the parts that you want to adjust, whether it be the scale or position. Once you like it, you can select the outer vertices and hit F to fill in the face, then hit I for inset, and I personally found a value of 0.7 to be good and then with the interface selected, extrude it inward, I then used inset again and pulled the face out a little. The next steps were pretty much the same, just extruding and insetting to get a nice little bump in the center. Now coming back to that subdivision modifier, we will enable it and start adding loop cuts to with command R to make some of the edges sharper. Once done, you should have something that looks like this. At this point, we can move into some very basic lighting and shading. Literally all I did for the material was add a glossy node, make the roughness a little less, and then add a color ramp, noise texture, mapping, and texture coordinate node. I adjusted the settings a little to get a little bit better results, but otherwise that was the material. I also added a silver material for the center and outer center part of the yo-yo. Then for the lighting I added three point lights and got this. From there, I wanted an HDRI, and actually added one that I took on a trip while at Washington. Those will all be on Patreon if you're interested in those HDRIs. Now to the rope. There would definitely be multiple ways of doing this, but this is just the method I found that worked well. So start by adding a circle, then go into edit mode, make sure it's pretty small, then move it away from the origin and duplicate it twice, and have each one of these circles positioned around the origin, kinda like this. Now out of edit mode, you can add a screw modifier and play around with the screw amount until you get a result you like. I found a value of 2.5 to be great. Then conveniently, you can increase the iterations to expand your rope. Now the biggest problem is that this isn't really able to be controlled as is. So I'm going to show you how to have full control and then show you how I personally wrap the rope around the yo-yo. So picture this first part as more of a demo and follow it if you would like to. First, I added a curve. My curve had to be rotated, but then with the rope selected, I added a curve modifier, selected the newly added curve, and it will try and follow the shape of the curve, though most likely you have to change the deform axis for this to work. Now with this in place, you could manually extrude the curve and rotate it around the yo-yo until it looks natural, but honestly, I found it easier to just add a cube, merge it at center, move it down, and then add a screw modifier. Then make sure the screw covers the whole yo-yo without overlapping. You can then duplicate the vertex and move it down and hit P to separate it into its own selection. This will allow you to adjust the screw modifier for the newly duplicated one. Repeat this as many times as you want the rope to be wound around the yo-yo, then apply all of the modifiers when you're done and join the objects with command J. Then select the outermost vertex and use the spin tool to angle it where you want the string to come out of. You may also need to decrease the steps because otherwise it might just look out of place. Then find the other vertices that aren't connected to anything, select two, and then join them with F. Make sure the only two vertices that are left unconnected are the innermost one and the outermost one. Now we can convert this object to a curve. Now select the rope object. Make sure that it has the curve modifier on it, and then select the curve that we just created. Assuming the deform axis and curve direction are right, the rope will follow the curve. 
If the rope isn't quite following the curve the entire wave, then just increase the iterations to fill it up. For mine, it took more than 100 screw iterations, in which case you have to actually manually type a value to get it at higher than 100. Then all I did was go into edit mode, and on the new curve, I extruded it to create small bends and turns. Honestly, the rope material is just fine being the default white, though I did darken it slightly. Well, just like that, the yo-yo is done. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!